foods that help heal hemorrhoids. Most adults experience anal edging, discomfort and bleeding associated with hemorrhoids at some point, according to the National Digestive Diseases Information Clearinghouse. Internal hemorrhoids typically cause bloody stool and less pain than external, or prolapsed, hemorrhoids. If a blood clot forms in an external hemorrhoid, the dissolved clot may leave itchy, excess skin behind. A low fiber or low fluid diet. 1. Managing your diet. Understand how gout affects the body. A gout attack occurs when uric acid levels get too high, leading to the formation of uric acid crystals in the joints and other areas. Increased levels of uric acid can lead to a number of painful issues throughout the body. Since these crystals are heavier than the blood carrying them, they begin to create deposits throughout the body. However, due to gravity, these heavy crystals are usually pulled to the lower part of the body, including the large space between the joints and the big toe. Kidney stones happen when uric acid crystals form in the kidneys. Crystal formations called toffee can form under the skin. Completely avoid certain high purine animal products, certain meats, fish and other animal products contain high amounts of purine which converts to uric acid. When too much uric acid builds up in the joints, it leads to gout. Completely avoiding the following high purine foods will help ease the impact of your gout. Organ meats, herring, anchovies, mackerel. Limit your consumption of all meat and fish. All meat, fish and poultry has some amount of uric acid. While you don't have to become a strict vegetarian, Cutting back on meat and fish is an essential step to treating the disease. Limit your consumption of the following foods to 4 to 6 ounces, 1 serving, daily, poultry, red meat, pork, beef and lamb, tuna, lobster, shrimp. Avoid vegetables, fruits and legumes high in uric acid. Some non-meat products are also naturally high in purines. These foods tend to contribute to the formation of uric acid in the blood. The following vegetables. Fruits and legumes have high uric acid, mushrooms, beans, peas, lentils, bananas, avocado, kiwi fruit, pineapple. Eat less fat. Eating a lot of saturated fat has been shown to inhibit the body's ability to process uric acid. Avoid fried foods and foods with a high fat content, like full fat dairy. Low fat foods like fruits and vegetables, legumes, and whole grains will help you manage gout. Avoid high fructose corn syrup. Fructose increases uric acid, so avoid beverages sweetened with high fructose corn syrup as well as desserts and other items that contain this substance. It's important to read food packages carefully, because HFCS is present in a lot of different foods, even those that don't necessarily taste sweet, like bread or snack foods. 2. Making lifestyle changes. Keep your weight down. People who are overweight or obese are at greater risk for developing gout. Losing weight can help keep gout in check and move you closer toward getting rid of it for good. Talk with your doctor about constructing a healthy weight loss plan that involves limiting foods high in purine. It should be constructed around the following foods. In addition to plenty of exercise, lean protein options, excluding organ meat and fatty fish whole grains low purine fruits and vegetables nuts and other healthy snacks keep your stress in check a high stress level can lead to gout flare-ups so it's important to take measures to keep your stress under control exercising and eating well can be a big help in addition to keeping your body healthy work on achieving sound mental health by doing the following take time to yourself as often as necessarily if you're feeling pulled in a million directions that'll take it all on your body meditate yoga, or spend some time outside. Start regularly performing an activity that brings you inner peace. Get plenty of sleep every night. Aim for 7-8 hours, and try to stick to a schedule. Cut back on alcohol, especially beer. Beer is known to increase uric acid, and it should be completely avoided to combat gout. Wine, however, shouldn't increase uric acid if it's consumed in small quantities. Drinking just one or two 5 ounce servings a day does not increase your risk. Drink lots of water. It helps to flush uric acid from the system, 
relieving your joints of buildup. Drink more than you normally would, at least 8 to 16 8 ounce glasses every day. Assess your vitamin and pain medication intake. People who take a lot of vitamins containing niacin as well as some over the counter medicines are at an increased risk of developing gout. If you tend to take a lot of vitamins and medicines, meet with your doctor to discuss how they might be affecting your gout. The following supplements and medicines may put you at risk of having flare ups. Niacin, Aspirin, Diuretics, Cyclosporine, Levodopa. 3. Trying medication and other treatments. Ease the pain of flare-ups with pain relievers. Gout is one of the most painful types of arthritis, and when flare-ups happen, medication can be a big help. It's important to talk with your doctor about a medication plan that will be healthy for your body. Your doctor may present the following options depending on your pain level. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs. These are available over the counter. Corticosteroids, such as prednisone, colchicine. This medicine works best when taken within the first 12 hours of an acute attack. Get treated for underlying causes. Gout isn't always a result of eating too much meat and other purine heavy foods. Sometimes it's a result of the body's inability to get rid of uric acid for other reasons. If you've been affected by one of the following issues, you'll need to get proper treatment to keep your gout in check. Some people with gout have an enzyme defect that makes it very difficult for the body to break down purines. Some people have gout as a result of being exposed to lead in the environment. People who have had an organ transplant are particularly susceptible. Look into new therapies for gout. Since gout is on the rise, new therapies and medications are always being tested. If gout is affecting your quality of life and conventional ways of treating it aren't working, talk with your doctor about exploring all of your options.